Friday, the 30th of June. Wagner, what's next for the mercenary force? Welcome to Global Voice. The recent rise in Russia has exposed huge insecurities in that country. But what does it mean for the war in Ukraine? And what about Wagner now? The mercenaries who rebelled. Why does that matter? First, in the space of a few hours on June 24, Wagner seized control of the entire Russian city, rostov on don Then they sent a heavily armed convoy north, stopping just 200 kilometers from Moscow, shooting down Russian military planes along the way. It was the most serious challenge to President Putin's rule yet, even if, as Wagner's leader Yevgeny Prigozhin claims, it was not meant to be. In short, he came close to unleashing what could have been a catastrophic civil war in a country with the world's largest arsenal of nuclear warheads. Second, Wagner has been by far the most effective Russian military force on the ground in Ukraine. His soldiers, comprising both career veterans and convicts, are in most cases better paid and better motivated than the regular army. After months of bitter hand-to-hand -hand combat, resembling the street battles of Stalingrad in World War II, Wagner gave Russia something of a victory when his troops captured the ruined city of Bakhmut earlier this year. What will Putin do? President Putin faces a dilemma. Wagner launched a mutiny, so he's clearly a potential future threat. However, it has also been enormously useful for the Kremlin, and not just in Ukraine. Deployed in Syria, Libya and several African countries, Wagner projects Russian strategic power and influence around the world, all the while under the guise of pretending he has nothing to do with the Kremlin. Only recently, Putin finally admitted that Wagner has been financed by the state to the tune of billions of rubles. Following the aborted mutiny, the Kremlin has said that Wagner's fighters have until July 1 to decide whether to sign contracts to join the regular army, not an attractive prospect for most. If not, they can return home or go to neighboring Belarus, where Prigozhin is supposed to be in exile. Wagner in Ukraine is almost certainly finished, at least as an independent unit. Some ex-combatants may return there as part of the regular Russian army, but the wild days of operating largely as he chose and answering primarily to his leader are over. 